Presently, we have uh, got a case here, one of the lady who is having a regular cycle of 28 days and has intentions of bearing a baby. We have to tell her about the most fertile period during which she should be undergoing copulation to have maximum chance of fertilization. And this kind of advice is actually depending upon some of the calculations we already have got for the survival of the oocyte or its capability to get fertilized and also about the sperm. Now when we are talking about the sperms, once they are ejaculated in the female genital tract, how long are they going to remain fertile? That is what the question is asking us. So before we answer the options which are given in ours, we are going to collect some of the information relevant to guide this lady. We will be giving her one LH kit and as the LH kit become positive, she is advised to undergo copulation which is around the day of ovulation. Usually they are the three days in the whole menstrual period which are most fertile days. We are going to draw a diagram which is a graphic representation of the LH hormone and will be similar to the diagram which we are looking at now. The diagram which we draw will be the presentation of the menstrual cycle starting day number 1 till day number 28 which is a regular menstrual period time and day number 14 will have the day of ovulation. Plotted here is the concentration of LH hormone which is undergoing LH surge just before ovulation reach a peak before ovulation and then the LH concentration dips down and when it comes to the most fertile 3 days they are going to be around the day of ovulation day number 14. Some ladies may be having larger duration of the menstrual cycle reaching as much as 35 days or others may have shorter duration reaching as less as 21 days but usually it is seen that whatever the last day of menstrual cycle is about 14 days before that occurs the ovulation. So if it is day number 35 you have to minus 14 and that will be the day of ovulation or even if it is a day 21 menstrual cycle you have to minus 14 days from there to reach the day of ovulation. So whatever is the maximum day you have got just minus 14 from there and that will be the day of ovulation. And now we draw the graph ourselves. So here is the first day of the cycle, day 1. And since this lady has got a cycle duration of 28 day, we are going back by 14 days and that will be the mid cycle. That is the time when she will be having the day of ovulation. And as we are plotting the concentration of LH hormone here, in the graph we can show the LH hormone is taking a surge before ovulation, taking a peak and then goes down again. And we can put some details in term of the hours. What we have to mention is there is one LH surge. And when is this LH surge taking place? Sudden rise in the concentration of the LH hormone. It is 36 hours approximately before the day of ovulation. Now if this is LH surge taking place approximately 36 hours before ovulation, then when is the LH peak taking place? If we are talking about the LH peak, the peak concentration of LH hormone, then it will be happening approximately 24 hours before ovulation. And that is also the time when we find the release of first polar body. So we can mention here, polar body number one is released at LH peak, which is 24 hours before ovulation. And what about the second polar body then? Second polar body will be released after fertilization. And when is fertilization taking place? Fertilization will be taking place after ovulation. We have to remember fertilization should occur within 24 hours of ovulation. So if the fertilization is occurring within 24 hours of ovulation, then only the second polar body will be released. And how often does that happen? It is going to be very rare because usually we do not have sperms available. In that case, the secondary oocyte is undergoing degeneration and later it will be undergoing menstruation. And when is the secondary oocyte undergoing menstruation? It will be by the end of the cycle and we have to wait for the next cycle if we want fertilization to happen. Then how will we be making sure 
that fertilization is happening, we have to give LH kit to the lady and she is advised whenever the LH kit become positive, she should undergo copulation to maximize the chance of fertilization, which is around the day of ovulation. As it goes for the female cell, the oocyte, the oocyte can wait only for 24 hours for the sperm. So she is going to have a window period of only 24 hours. That is till day number 15 because after day number 15, the secondary oocyte is degenerated and cannot undergo fertilization anymore. Then what about the sperm? A question has come. Once the sperm is ejaculated in a female, it is capable of fertilization till how many days? So if you mention that, once the sperm is ejaculated in female tract, it is capable of fertilization but only for two days, that is 48 hours. After 48 hours, it is incapable of doing any fertilization. Another question comes and it is about the survival time. Once the sperm has been ejaculated in female tract, how long can it survive? If it is about the survival, then some of the authors mention it can survive till 5 to 10 days. But the thing is, during that time, it has lost the potential for fertilization. Fertilization can happen within two days of the ejaculation. So if we calculate if the sperm was ejaculated on day number 12, or day number 13 or day number 14, then only there is a chance of fertilization. So if we are calculating the most fertile period, it is around the day of ovulation and it is three days in total if we want to be very precise. In such a case, if the sperm were ejaculated before day number 12, there can be no fertilization or after day number 14, there can be no fertilization. And despite having this much precise calculation, we are not sure that the lady will always be fertilized. But anyhow, these three days are the most fertile period which you can suggest your patient. Let us go back to the question now. And as we were talking about the calculation of the most fertile period in terms of these sperms being capable of fertilization, it is two days. Two days means it is 48 hours. So as we search for our answer, the most probable answer here is choice number C, that is two days or maximum 48 hours. If it was for the female, the secondary oocyte, then it will be just one day, 24 hours.